Hey, what's up, you guys? Edwin here, and I am finally back, but I'm back a little different, you know what I'm with another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi Fi battle. And today, we actually have an NU battle against Laura, a person I battled off of Discord. Yeah, before I start the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as I highly enjoy the support that I get most of the time. Even if it's negative, go right ahead. And also, links to all my social media will be in the description below in case you guys want to check those out so yeah let's just jump right into the battle Starting off the match, I'm going to decide to lead off with my Swirlix as my opponent decides to lead off with his Drodigon. Now of course I clicked Magicolt because I knew that my opponent was going to go for Stealth Rocks, so I kind of wanted the Stealth Rocks on his side of the field. Now right here my opponent decides to switch out and bring in his Silk Valley Steel named Hardhead, which um, my opponent had some really interesting names, let's just say that. As I do go for Sticky Webs, unfortunately for me he does go for Defog. And he's able to get those hazards out, but that's fine with me because I really don't care. Now right here, my opponent does decide to go for multi-attack and it does bring me down to my focus ash, but that's fine because I decided just to go for sticky webs. Now next turn, I am going to decide to click Endeavor because I knew that I was going to outspeed him thanks to the fact that I have Unburden and I lost my focus ash and he is able to knock me out and that's fine with me now next turn i do decide to bring in your mask and now he does go for party shot and i guess it was kind of a questionable play because i was really expecting him to go for defog however i decided to click infestation just so that i was able to knock out his sil valley or if he decided to switch in i could trap something in now next turn he does go for bug buzz which pretty much does a decent amount of damage considering that I am special defensive so I was kind of surprised at that now I do go for skill swap just so that I can give my opponent the mummy and because he has infestation he will not be able to switch out now next turn I do click memento as once again he decides to go for another bug buzz it does pretty damage and unfortunately this is the end of my mask but that's really all I needed him for um I basically just needed to skill swap mummy because now I'm going to decide to bring in my slash Hacking, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what I am going to go for. I decided to click Pursuit just on the off chance that he did decide to switch out and I'm able to basically gain Mummy on Slacking. Now the only thing that Slacking has that basically holds him back from being a better Pokemon than what he is, is his ability Tront. Now the only thing with Tron is that like since you can only attack every other turn that basically will give your opponent a lot of ways to play around you so now my opponent brings in his malamar and he goes for a superpower just to activate my weakness policy yes that's right guys i decided to use weakness policy on my slacking i actually put a lot of investment into its hp and attack and not really necessarily in its speed because this is actually kind of a sticky webs kind of team that's why i did have Passimian and mega glalie in the back now i am able to knock out his of valley steel with a return and my opponent does decide to bring in his vicavolt unfortunately his vicavolt will also be knocked out with another return now my slacking does have max attack max high happiness so this return is basically going to be doing a lot of damage to regardless of what he decides to bring in now next turn i do decide to go for another return i was almost clicked play rough but i figured because return was tab it would do a lot more damage um unfortunately his dragon did live but he's not as powerful enough to knock me out as I decide just to go for another return and knock out his Drudigon. Now my opponent's last Pokemon is actually a Vaporeon. And once again, um, return unfortunately is not going to be enough to knock out this Vaporeon. He does live, which gives him the chance to go for a squad. Now thankfully for me, um, he does not knock me out and he does not burn me. So imagine had he burned me, I basically would have been dead in two turns. Now next turn he does go for protect, I don't know why why as i basically can't do anything because he is protected now on the last turn i do decide to click return and that is the end of the match 